Hello guys, it's Dennis here again with Team Deboru and in today's video we're gonna have a look to productivity tips to help you remain consistent with building campaigns. So let's jump into the content. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're gonna have a look to how to structure and how to be accountable with your testing campaigns. So how to have your progress every single day. So let's start by saying that you haven't tested any campaigns till, till today. And let's assume that you have a thousand dollars budget to spend per month. So this is the testing budget that you can afford at this moment. And let's assume you're going to split your thousand uh, dollars budget by weeks and you're going to have $250 each week for testing phase to until you find your first profitable campaigns, right? So from this structure, first thing you need to do, find offers to test for that particular budget. So we have around $250 to spend for the week number one. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to your affiliate network. In today's video, we're gonna go to Max Bounty and find as many offers that will actually go within your budget. I have listed 10 campaigns from Max Bounty to get roughly around $250. It doesn't need to be exactly, but you just need to have your budget organized. So let's go to Max Bounty, which is up here. So you're gonna find 10 offers or maybe 12 or even 20 so it depends of your uh, payout right the higher the payout less offers you're gonna test so lower the payout more offers you're gonna test within your budgets so you're gonna list uh, how many campaigns you're gonna test for the first week so week number one so I have listed 10 campaigns which are up here and put these specific uh, informations about every single offer so like offer ID, offer link. So that's exactly from Max Bounty. So you can click it here and it's going to redirect you to the offer so, so that you have an easy way to get to the offer if you need any information. Then is the offer name, the flow, the payout, the status of the offer. If you're still waiting for any offers to uh, be approved by your affiliate manager, the testing date. So you set up uh, the testing date for each of these campaigns and the budget you're gonna spend within this first week so this is the budget that you're gonna spend for three day rule of testing phase so how I came up with this number so here is the structure so you have 1.56 dollars payout so the daily budget is three times the payout and then you put by three days. So we are waiting three days to analyze the data and to see if the campaign is profitable or is unprofitable. And then let's assume that you're gonna create two ad sets per each campaign. So you're gonna test two interest targeting for each campaign. So if you combine all this, you come up with this budget you're gonna spend for each campaign. And if you combine all these together, you're going to spend $261.36 for this testing phase. And you're going to test 10 offers. So this would be the first step to actually do that you know what kind of budget you can afford and how you're going to structure between your entire month. And then you can plan how many campaigns you can test every single week. So from here, we're going to go to the first option to organize your daily progress and task that you must do every single day to actually create the Facebook campaign. So let's go up to here. So this is the Google Drive Excel sheet, which is the first option. And the second option I'm going to show you later on. But the structure is the same. So by week from Monday to Sunday, and let's assume how I said the week is going to be between 26th of August to 1st of September. And the offers we are creating this week 
we are actually preparing everything for the campaigns that they will go out for the next week so that's mean on the 2nd of september so if we go back we know that the testing date for these two is going to be monday next week tuesday wednesday thursday and friday so we are creating all the content and everything necessary to publish the facebook campaign for the next week so let's go back to here so assuming that we are testing two campaigns per day between the monday and friday but you can structure this task however you would like to and that it's gonna fit within your day right so let's go on the left side so we have the task that must be done before we create the facebook campaign right so first is the offer copywriting for all 10 campaigns and then we have copy translated so if you need to translate a copy so if you're actually having an offer within uh, non-english countries like spain or italy or france or germany right then it's facebook ads images then you need to create your lenders it could be click funnels it could be amazon s3 and then if you're using a tracker here we have our volume so what steps you need to do within your volume and then in the end it is facebook campaign launch so when you're gonna launch the facebook campaigns and the last step is planning for the next week so here what you're gonna do you're gonna actually analyze the data from previous week and then adjust your cash flow your budget your spending budget and create the plan for the next week right so let's go through the tasks let's assume that today is tuesday so monday was yesterday and you have done all the tasks so here you know which offer it is you have the link and you have the name right these are the same offers from here so these two offers if you go here are for monday right and these two offers are going to be for tuesday right which is up here so let's assume the monday was yesterday and you have done all the tasks so you can just put it here finished finished and then facebook ads you have done both tasks click funnels lender you have done three steps so we have three steps here so change lender copy and the links facebook pixel and test the lender so a cool thing you can do here if you can't remember what you need to do for every single step you can create a comment and put the list of mini tasks for this particular task maybe you can't remember what you need to do you can put a comment here and say okay first change headline second seo metadata third questions for answers and fifth lender brand image okay i have done all five steps so i can put done so you're actually creating a system that you're gonna follow every single day so let's go to the volume so affiliate network you need to create the element offer element lender element campaign element and here on the bottom it says volume picks and code install and let's say you can't remember what you need to do and again you have a comment so let's say you put copy the pixel code and paste it in the click funnel setting section and you find the pixel code within the volume campaign element under tracking so you know exactly what you need to do and you know where to find the pixel code so this is how you can structure for every single day which offer you're gonna prepare so the entire content from copy ads lender tracking and when you're gonna launch your facebook campaigns right so if we assume that today is tuesday so you have done the first task so you have finished the copywriting you have finished the facebook ads and you have finished the click funnels lender so the next thing you still need to do today is to actually finish all the tasks for volume tracker 
and that's how it goes every single day so on the top you know which offers you're doing for each day so let's assume that you do two campaigns for per day and then on the saturday you actually launch all facebook campaigns for the next week right so during the weekdays, so from Monday to Friday, you're creating all the content, all the copy, all images, all lenders, trackers and everything. And on Saturday, let's say first thing in the morning, you set up everything and you create all Facebook campaigns and you publish to get in review mode to be approved by Facebook. So this is just an example how you can structure. So if you have enough time within the weekdays, you can publish every single campaign for that particular day so you finish all the content and then you publish on monday you finish all the content and you publish on tuesday so you can structure how you would like right and on saturday you have another really important task which is planning for the next week so what that means so first you're gonna need to analyze the previous week so how much you spent if you got any profitable campaign and adjust your cash flow so your budget and by that budget then you can plan how many offers you're gonna test for the next week and let's assume that you're gonna test again 10 offers so on Saturday you need to go to the affiliate network and find 10 more offers to test for the next week so this is the first option that I have show you and the second one is within the Trello software, but it's basically the same, just slightly different. So let's go to Trello, which is up here. So I have created this board just for today's tutorial. So let's go to Monday and we have the same task. So offer, copywriting, ads, images, click funnels lender, volume tracker. So let's click on one cart, so one offer, to show you what you can do within these cards, which is pretty cool uh, with Trello. So let's click on. So this is your card. So let's say this is your offer, right? So the offer is review McDonald's UK, right? So you can put descriptions, you can attach any doc documents, you can create checklists, you can actually put a deadline for this task to be finished completely and you can put comments. So let's go from the top to the bottom to show you what you can actually do. So description, okay, testing date, you know that it's gonna be 2nd of September. The offer link, so this is the offer link from the Max Bounty. So if you click it here, it's gonna be redirected you to the offer within your uh, affiliate network. The attachment, so I have attached the affiliate network offer list. So if I click here, it's gonna be redirecting me to the list we watched just before so that's how you have everything connected uh, within your trello and then what's pretty cool you can create your checklist so what exactly you need to do to finish this task it is similar how i showed you in excel sheet with comments but here you create your checklist so what is the checklist to finish this card so first it's write the copy Second is sent to translate and third can be set the alert date for translation to be sent back, right? So let's assume that you have done this and you have done this. So you have sent it the, the copy to be translated. So what you can do here to be organized, you can put a comment, which I already did. So let's say today is 26th of August. So offer copy done and offer sent to the translation. So what you can do now, because you're actually waiting somebody else to finish something for you, you can actually create a alert date that it's gonna remind you to check if the translation is actually done. So you can go to here where is calendar and you put, let's say today is 26th of uh, August, you put for tomorrow, at 12 p.m. you put an alert that it's gonna remind you to check if you got the translation which is pretty cool right and you click save so now you actually finish this task for today 
but you're waiting your translation for tomorrow. And tomorrow you're gonna get an alert saying, okay, check if you got the translation. And now you can click this that you actually create the alert for the translation, right? And then on the 27th of August, you can put a comment, let's say 27 of eight, you can put translation got back, right? And save. So you know exactly what you have done. It's pretty cool what you can do within your Trello. So this is pretty much how it's gonna look your cart within the Trello. So you can organize every single offer by these metrics if you would like to. You can add them more if you want, but these are just the basics one and you have all the information here and you can be very organized. So you're gonna duplicate these steps for every single task you have within your day. So this is from Monday to Friday, same structure work. So you are creating content for the Saturday to then publish the Facebook campaigns. So here you have Facebook campaigns and you have all your 10 campaigns that need to be published, right? And then the second task for the Saturday, you have offer research and planning day for the next week. So you analyzed your results from the previous week, you update your cash flow, your budget, and you plan how many offers you can test for the next week. All right, so let's go back to Google Drive, which is this one here. Now let's go back here. So the last thing I want to just show you a little bit is how to manage your cash flow, which is really, really, really important. So let's unhide this part here like that. And let's just go quick these notes. So like you can see, it's week one, week two and week three. So like I said before, your monthly budget, it's thousand dollars per month. So your first week, you have already spent it $261 for your testing phase and you haven't got any profitable campaign, right? Let's just assume that. So that's mean that if we look up here on the bottom, so week one, you have spent $261 and you have planned for the next week to test 10 more offers with the budget of $290. But in this week, number two, you got four profitable campaigns after the three day rule. So they are profitable and ready to scale. So what that means for you. So right now you need to adjust your spending budget, right? If we look here, so for week number three, you need to adjust the testing budget because you have four profitable campaigns. So first, how are you gonna scale profitable campaigns? So what that means? So how many new campaigns you gonna publish or how many ad sets you gonna add within the campaign that is profitable? So you need to decide that and by that you need to adjust your spending budget. And the second thing is keep in mind your payment date from the affiliate network. Let's assume that it's week free net, so that's 10 days. So in this case, it means that from your $1,000 monthly budget, you still have $448 to spend. So now you need to think about how you're gonna spend this budget. So, or you're gonna stop the testing phase and put all the money inside your scaling phase, or you're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna put 50, 50%. So I still want to test, I don't know, five, offers per week, but all the rest budget I want to push in scaling phase. So that's your choice. So you need to decide what you're going to do. So this is the structure that you can follow or you can adjust by your daily schedule, how can it fit within your days, but it's always going from your budget. Hopefully I gave you a good example in today's video to actually structure your days and be productive every single day toward your goals. 
So this would be everything for today's video. Hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, just type it below into the comment section. And thank you for watching and see you tomorrow with a new video. Are you struggling with your affiliate marketing business or want to take things to the next level? Allow me to introduce you to Dice University. Dice University is the number one affiliate marketing training platform in the world. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced affiliate marketer, Dice University offers you thousands of different videos with topics such as Facebook, volume, adplexity, and many more of your favorite topics. Step by step, you will learn the secret super affiliate ways to get the most out of each traffic source. Dominate each vertical with our detailed quick start guides. Are you ready to get started? Click the link in the description to sign up today.